All right, so here's the uh, here's the 2009 M3 Cabriolet we were talking about, and as you can see, that uh, that chrome line that they've done extends from the side view mirrors all the way up around to the back quarter to the to the kink there at the rear of the quarter glass. So from the side profile, you see that they uh, have a blacked out strip across in the middle. They purposely do that so it looks like the car's lines extend all the way to the back. It's actually hard for some guys to tell a difference between the coupes and the cabriolets because it looks so similar. And the operation of the top going up and down is just done by the key. So you can lock it, unlock, by rolling down the windows. There's a look at the top going up, which is a three-piece tier. As you can see that extends right over the top of it there. Then the back here opens up. And then it has the uh, storage in the back there. The top goes all the way back down over top of it. And all the way down again. And that's about how long it takes. And then you've just turned your M3 coupe into a M3 cabriolet.